my senses and you can bite the smell. This is the captain speaking. We're taking on an allied soldier. Clear the berth, disable the fences, make way. Midshipmen, stand down. Stand down, I say. This soldier is a guest on our vessel. Please afford him all appropriate courtesies. Unidentified. Intruder. Intruder. Mr. First Mate, this is the captain. This soldier is no intruder. Requesting permission to use lethal force. This must be a misunderstanding. You invited me aboard. Indeed. So I must insist you check with your captain straight away. No records found. Stand down. That's an order. And for God's sake, use the accent. I, Captain, standing down. I'll have none of your lip, Mr. Navigator. Have the crow's nest scan two points off the port bow. Jump to it. Aye, Captain. Our soldier has arrived. I trust the first mate didn't give you too hard a time. Been too long since we've seen the Congressional Army. Thanks for calling him off me. The scan shows you have the proper number of appendages still, so all is well. I am Captain Ironsides, commander of the USS Constitution. You visit this fine vessel in trying times. Be calm these long years on her airy perch. Damn you, Weatherby Savings and Loan! I spit at you. A sad state of affairs for such a historic ship. Indeed, Captain. She looks to be in tip-top shape. A shame she's wrong... Uh, aground. On that, we are in agreement. What vexes me most is my inability to assist in the war effort. My gun decks have not but Morats and ne'er-do-wells as targets. Enough pleasantries. The Constitution has systems that need repairs to carry out its mission. Just tell me what you need. Excellent. Consult with the bosun and Mr. Navigator. They will relay your instructions. Dismissed. Look lively, lads. Scavengers approach. Soldier, man the cannons. Kill them only as a last resort. Scavenger threat detected. Conversation. Terminated. The cannons are ready. Assessment will commence Quite after the this unit has completed scheduled duties. Why did the scavengers attack? Scavengers have attacked ship 17 times. Destroyed 13% of ship's systems. Stole 5% of ship's store. Logic error. Captain's orders authorize scavenger termination only if necessary to preserve the ship. You robots do a good job of defending your ship. Proclamation 1. Defend the Constitution by any means necessary. Guidance system offline. Multiple errors diagnosed. First error. Guidance chip stolen. This unit requires its return. I just need to know where the chip is. Chip is with the thieves. Human scavengers. Reclaim chip at scavengers forward recon station. Captain has approved a bounty for its return. Lethal force is prohibited unless absolutely necessary. Aft dinghy unlocked and available for your use, madam. Your very presence does this humble unit a great honor. My programming would find it amiss if I did not also interject. Long live the captain! 
You certainly have pep. Much obliged for the compliment. But on to the mission of the day. A last marine expedition. Valiantly returned with much needed supplies. Including replacement power cables, madam. Alas, with my severe lack of appendages, I find myself unequal to the task of repairing the cables myself. <laughs> I'm not a mechanic, pal. I would despair, but it appears my despair emulator has been forcibly removed. So instead, I will await the cable's repairs with unbridled anticipation. Lock tight. Hey, Bosun. How? Courses through the Constitution's veins. Again! Her systems, long starved, flick out to life! <laughs> A hearty congratulation. Huzzah! However, this has brought to light further failures in our power grid. The power relay, to my shame, I previously complained about is fluctuating wildly. Don't worry. I'll get you up and running. Bully for you, madam. Power relay coils are common enough, but might I recommend checking the local shopkeeps? Surely they would be of some assistance. Fair winds and following seas. Go shoot. Those assholes didn't attack the ship on our orders. They weren't trying to frag ya anyhow. They just wanted to kill the frickin' robots. So, some of your guys almost got me killed. We told those crazy assholes not to attack. It's not our fault, all right? When they saw you waltz right into the Constitution, they just went ballistic. How did you get aboard, anyway? We thought you were gonna get cratered for sure. He knew I was an American, so he drafted me. America? Isn't that some old world mumbo jumbo? Whatever. So you got to see the inside, huh? All that salvage. The real motherload. Just waiting to be stripped and sold. If you say so. So you talked with a tin can. What'd he have to say? Ironside says you stole a guidance chip. He wants it back. His guidance chip, right. You know what he needs it for, his rockets. The huge goddamn rockets on the side of his boat. He's nuts. I'm sure there's a good reason he needs them. You seriously want to help that idiot bolts for brains? Screw that robot and come work with us. There's dozens more of us nearby. It's only a matter of time before we come out on top. I'm not splitting my share with her. You holding out on us, Davies? You got some magical way in there? This lady's got a free ticket aboard, so shut up. Help us destroy that freaking tin can once and for all. No deal. I'm with Ironsides. A wise decision, Mum. I can't imagine what would become of the ship and its crew in the hands of these hoodlums. Then screw you, asshole. You're lucky we don't gun you down. Hey, Mandy. Soon we'll own that ship, and you, asshole, won't get nothing. Chained on the other side. Go check that out. Respectfully, no.
Nothing personal. Hi, I'm Meg. Me new to the hill? For 10 caps, I can give you the tour. Nobody knows a place like me. Not interested. <laughs> Your loss. Look, I'm trying to relax. Been on the road a long time. Hey there. Load a little heavy there? I'll buy anything you don't need and sell everything you do. Let's see what you got. You got the caps? I got. to help you out. Again. Soldier's happiness is irrelevant. Acquire Poseidon radar transmitter at specified map coordinates. Further bounty will be dispensed upon completion, madam. Bosun. Power flows far and steady. I would have told you, but alas, okay now, due to my lack of clapping instruments. But huzzah, madam, huzzah. Very welcome, Bosun. You are too kind. I require no further assistance. The kitten requests your presence on the bridge. I'm sure he intends to rest further laurels upon you. Again, well done. service to our nobleness. I am pleased you recovered the guidance chip without bloodshed. Though the scavengers have caused us grievous injury, our goals must be nobler than base revenge. The job done? Quite commendable. I find I must reward your considerable efforts with the final labor. We stand but a hair's breadth away from embarking on our sacred mission. So now, can you tell me what's going on? Complete this task, and I will gladly relate our mission. Until then, silence, vigilance. The ship requires turbo pump bearings from a nearby factory. It will undoubtedly be a dangerous mission, but I have faith you will succeed. Captain. Trim the power on the starboard bow. 
Steady as she goes, Mr. Navigator. Buck willing, at long last, we'll set sail. And our hero of the hour is to thank. You've earned a double share, madam. Well done. My pleasure. You are truly worthy, madam, of witnessing our maiden voyage. Our twin NX-42 rockets will alight and then moor us from this dreaded savings and loan. The Constitution will launch into the heavens and after, gently land in the ocean. Then we take our rightful place as defenders of the Atlantic. You're gonna what? A thing of brilliance, is it not? Mr. Navigator, put her through her paces. We need to... Those motherless curs, prepare to broadside. Our opponents have struck their colors. Leave this ship and never return. Congratulations, Captain. There is one thing. We need power from the auxiliary generator to commence our voyage. I fear I must call upon you one last time. Consider it done. I admire your pluck. Here is your amply deserved reward. Godspeed to you, madam. Thank <laughs> you. 